If you want to be able to create 360 images just like this one in Enscape, make sure to stay around until the end of the video to learn all the ins and outs of this Enscape feature. So right here, it's a bedroom that I'm going to take a look at and we're going to create 360 images for. So over here in the top right corner, you can see a 360 option that right now is not available for us. Well, if you don't know why that is, is basically because you can only see this option if you have selected the three point perspective or the option that is just perspective and not the two point one as I have right now. And once you click it, you can see that this option over here unlocks. Now, right here, you can see that there's two different types of panoramic images that you can use is the mono panorama image and the stereo panorama image. Now, the mono panorama image is more flat and is more for actually just exploring it to your phone, to your computer and other devices like that. But the stereo panoramic image is more for virtual reality headsets and all that other stuff so for the sake of this video we're going to create a mono panoramic image first off we have to choose the actual place and position where we want the image to be taken from so for this example I'm going to be standing somewhere right here so just as a heads up you probably know this this is a step you have to take after you've done all the materials the lighting and all that but you also have to make sure that every single corner and all of the assets are actually edited because 360 panoramic images is a full composition of that whole space so I'm I'm going to choose the point where I'm going to take the image right here and then I'm just going to click the 360 panoramic image as you can see the panoramic image is exporting right now and we're going to take a look just after this is done on where we're going to be able to find this image in Enscape. Okay so now that the actual panoramic image is completed we're going to go ahead and find where it was actually exported to. So over here at the Enscape tab that I have in SketchUp you can see this upload management icon and once I click it there is going to be all the panoramic images that I've done in the Enscape account for different projects. So here's some other projects that I did previously, 360 images for. But right now we need to see how we can actually view the panoramic image that we did previously. Over here, we can find that this is the position that we did earlier. If we click this icon, it's going to take us to that position in the Enscape window, as you saw here. And then we have the option to actually download it as a file. We can delete it. But what I would suggest to you if you want to send this file to your potential clients or just to showcase it and your portfolio or anything like that you can just click this upload button and what's that going to do is going to upload it into web hosting from Enscape and then once that is done you can click these three points and you can either do open in web browser you can copy the link to send to someone else or you can also send it as the QR code to scan it and then it will open immediately. So I'm going to go ahead and click open in web browser and over here, this is the actual tab that it opened up in my computer. As you can see, I can just click and drag and look around the whole model. And this is extremely useful and believe me, just with a simple click like that, which is super quick, you can impress your potential clients. It can actually grow your 3D rendering business, but not only that, it can also help you develop a better understanding of your own project. But just clicking the panoramic image export isn't enough if you haven't done all of the lighting and materials correctly. So if you want to learn how to actually set up materials in Enscape, make sure to watch the video right here.